Welcome to Nkoroi. It's a Maasai term to mean something very, very beautiful. But if you know what it really means, please share your comments on the comment section. But what we are about to show you is this. What we have over here is the basement to a house built on a slopey ground. Yep, it's not just a wall to a house, but it's a foundation that's lying on a slopey ground, which is right over there. Now, I am just about to meet a very enthusiastic foreman who will take me around and show me what it will take to put this building together. But I must also share with you one thing. When it comes to constructing, or rather when it comes to constructing or digging up the foundation, a lot is lost. One, uh, money, time, and convenience. But a beam and block solution sorts that one out, and that is what we are about to find out right after this. This is the foundation to this building. Need your foundation, young sir. Kwa vile niliona hiyo foundation imeenda kuligana na levels of the ground nikaona kufikia pande ya chini inaweza kuifanya iwe manyumba. Okay. The ring beams have already been laid out and the beam and blocks will form the foundation which is on this slopey ground. This house will eventually become a three-storied building which will have extra storage in form of rooms right over there beam and blocks it has a clear view yeah he link beam ambayo tumekoroga sasa alafu sasa nyumba tupandi tupandisha tupeleka juu kabisa na tutakuwa tume create enough space to me save a lot kwa sababu hakuna mahali tumepotesa eh nyumba yenyewe ime create some other houses katika basement and this is where you pull out your calculator because this is where the costs come in. Imagine pulling in a tractor, a lorry, labor, torch, nails, you name it, shuttering. And don't forget, you've got that lorry that's going to excavate, take out the excavation. And then you've got the backfill. Please, you've not even calculated the number of trips it's going to make because that is where it counts and costs the most. Conventional definitely will give you figures that are eye-watering indeed. Kama ni mambo ya kusema ati ufanye filling, sijui hata ugetoa pesa hizo ugetumia pesa mingi sana. Lakini kwa vile sasa sisi ya tukutumia yo mambo ya kujaza na nini, tunatumia hii technology mpia ya block and beams. Sasa tunaonda kuna vitu mingi sana tumekava. Ambazo tugekua ni waste. Asa kutoka huko kwa kulingana na levels as we are going mm -hmm. sasa tukiwa hapa hii ndio kitchen hii ndio foundation ya kitchen na dining sasa badala ya kitchen na dining it is still there but under and in basement yake mm -hmm. tuna store moja kubwa sana ambayo tunaweza kuitumia kama store au tuitumia kama nyumba kulingana na mapenzi yetu okay yeah this will form the basement that will be the ground floor. What will be right below that will be storage. What Beam and Block has done is create the foundation as that Mzee has spoken. Nilipo fika hapa kutoka kwa dining sasa. Ikawa hapa kulikuwa na ngazi. Sasa nikaulelea nyumba yangu imekuwa juu saidi. Vile inateremuka inaenda kukiendaga juu. Anikaonda inakuwa na kitu kama 10 courses. Sasa nikaonea badala ya kupotesa, nikajenga nyumba ambayo mfanya kazi ya taisi, nitakuwa na kasto, na nitakuwa na DSQ hapo, ambayo iko, na, iko mpaka na sitting. Sasa hii nyumba. Abu, naka kutupatia na fast kidogo. Ukia hapa tumepata nyumba ya mfanya kazi. Hii ni bed sitter. Iko na hili ya washroom. Iko mahali ya kitanda. Kwa hivyo tumeshangaza kama bed sheet hii. Na nyumba bado inaenda ikipanda huko juu. Nyumba bado inaenda ikipanda juu. Hapa tuko na castor kadogo ambako mtu akoze kitu yake ya kuweka. Eh. Hapo tuna castor hata kama unaweka unaweka hizo vitu yako majembe nini? Majembe nini? Shelves za watoto? Eh eh. Unaweka hapo. Na bado tu nyumba tu inaenda tu. Nyumba inaenda. Kwa sababu tuko kwa 
Tuko kwa slope huko kote. Unapo fika hapa bado tuko kwa basement. Ukifika hapa unakuta hapa tuna nyumba ambayo ime create enough room. Hii ni sitting. Kutoka kwa sitting unapitia hapo kwa mlango hii. Hii ni ni ni, ni, ni choo na bafu. Na hii ni bedroom. Hapa bado kuna bodro. Na bado hatujajenga nyumba. Sasa hii bado tuko kwa foundation. What is the advantage of having beam and block? Well, uh, the advantage of having beams and block is that we don't use timber for shattering. Yes. We only use very small timber for ring for beam uh, ring beam and small metal chuma. Na kwa leba unaona ni kama umesema ama a lot a lot a lot a lot kwa leba. Eh? Yeah. A lot na save a lot na ni na create rooms. Ah. Ni na save kwa dia nyingi saidi. Basi beam and block imekusaidia? Saidi 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 saidi. Eh? Saidi imenisaidia. Na vile building and construction material imekuwa pesa mingi. Imekuwa hali ya juu kama chuma zimekuwa baikaji. Sasa zile chuma nimetumia hapa. Hii nyumba kulingana na vile umeiona vile iko. Yes. Kama ni nyumba ni lingine nikikuwa nimetumia pesa chuma. Ya, sasa nimetumia about a third ya chuma ya zile ningetumia na hiyo nyingine. Nime avoid trappers ni me avoid nails ni me avoid balls there are so many unnecessary things that i have avoided that could cost me a lot